What's going on boys? Lately I've been grinding a ton of ranked and I feel like I've picked up on a lot of bad habits I've developed since Sideswipe came out. These were mistakes I didn't realize I was making until I started reviewing my games and trying to pinpoint where things were going wrong. Once I corrected the things I was doing wrong, the grind for GC became a lot more doable. So today I'm going to be covering 5 things you need to stop doing in order to rank up in Sideswipe. Let's get right into number 1. Picking the ball up your own backboard when your opponents are near is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make in this game. A lot of the time, the other team is going to be trying to put you in a situation where you do just this so they can get an easy goal. There are two better options that I'd like to do before I risk passing it straight to my opponents. The first option is the pinch method. To do this, you want to let the ball roll slightly up your backboard and then jump and boost towards the bottom of the ball. Right before you make contact with the ball, you want to flip into it in a way that makes your bumper slam into the bottom of the ball. The further down on the ball that you pinch, the more power you will get. If you pinch in the middle of the ball, you will most likely just bounce off of it and look silly. If you do this every time the ball is near your backboard, people are eventually going to catch on, so be sure to mix it up with method number two. Your second choice is to either jump over the ball and wait on your backboard, or you can just stop altogether in hopes of your opponents getting faked and jumping over you and the ball. The second option is a little more risky to do, but if the other team is constantly pre-jumping you, then it will work extremely well. Flipping into your 50-50s is already a bad enough thing on its own, but doing it as the last line of defense for your team is even worse. As the last man, you want to try and buy as much time as possible for your teammate that just got done attacking on offense. If you flip into your 50-50s and they don't go well, your teammate won't be able to get back in time due to having low boost. A better choice is to just pancake 50-50 and use your flip afterwards to react to how it goes. This alone should give your teammate enough time to get back and with a decent amount of boost. You can also try baiting out flips from your opponents as a second man by jumping like you're going to challenge the ball and then going back down towards the ground. A lot of the times this will make them throw a ball to you for easy possession. Boost is without a doubt one of the most important things in Sideswipe. If you've ever fallen from the ceiling with no boost, you know how long it takes to get back down. A lot of players like to take every opportunity that they get to touch the ball in some kind of way, even if this means jumping up with little to no boost. Sometimes this might work out and you get a good goal from it, but a lot of the times you will just set the other team up for an air dribble or some kind of other air play and then your teammate has to deal with that while you get your boost back. Sometimes the move is to just stay on the ground and go all the way back so your teammate can challenge instead. If both of you are low boost, then you may have to just shoot your shot, but there shouldn't really be too many times where you are both on empty. If you absolutely must challenge the ball while on low boost, a good thing to go for is pancake 50-50s or turbo resets if you get enough space. Both of these methods will net you a little bit of boost and that might be just enough to get the ball around your opponents and in their net. There are some insanely cool looking mechanics in Sideswipe, but they're not useful 100% of the time. I've seen plenty of people attempting turbo resets just to end up giving possession directly to the other team while they fall back down from the sky. It doesn't matter if you can hit 50 flip resets in a row if you can't figure out how to use them to outplay your opponents. Mechanics absolutely play a part in the higher ranks, but to get there in the first place you have to master the basics. Things like positioning, passing, knowing how and when to challenge, and even boost management are all things you have to be good at and stay on top of subconsciously. If you think you are way more mechanical than anyone else at your rank, there's a chance that you are correct, but that also means you aren't above average in other ways. I've seen plenty of people in GC that don't even use the 180 arrow button, and that's because they got there from playing smart and knowing what needs to be done. Reigns over mechanics when it comes to ranking up every time. I totally get wanting to play safe and ensure random 50-50s don't get shot into your net, but there does come a point where you're playing too safe. As second man, you want to stay back enough where you can defend your net, but you also have to be ready to take any opportunities that your teammate gives you. I like to stay around the middle of the field or slightly in front of it when the ball is in my opponent's half. This gives me plenty of time to boost back to net and also gets me close enough to score a pass. If you see times where you could have shot the ball but can't reach it in time a lot, you are probably playing a bit too safe and need to scoot up a little bit. It's going to take a little bit of time to figure out where you want to hang out as second man, but once you do, you will notice how many more saves and goals you get. Alrighty boys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this ranking up video. If you would like to see more like this, please let me know and I'll be glad to make them. If you made it this far, I super appreciate it and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.